second and third generation players is becoming more and more of a trend as the years go by in the Western Hockey League. The Swift Current Broncos have had success with that. You look at the likes of an Adam Lowry or Dakota Odgers and Jake DeBrusque who is in their current lineup and one of their most important players as the season went on last season. Even though he was a rookie, DeBrusque came up big on a number of occasions even into the playoffs and now entering his draft season the spotlight will be on him even more. I find being looked at by an NHL team is pretty cool, so I'm using it as a motivator to even push myself even further than what we uh, already are. Jake is the son of former NHLer Louis DeBrusque, and as with many players who are coming from a second or third generation NHL family, he recognizes there may be some advantages to that. Maybe a little bit, just because obviously we're around the game a lot. You know, we understand the game. My whole life I've loved hockey, and that's all I do from coming home after practice, playing video games, anything, it's always hockey. And even talking to my dad after games, those little things come up huge in the end. But DeBrusque didn't necessarily feel the pressure of coming from an NHL bloodline. I didn't really uh, get too much into the pressure from that. It was mostly the pressure for myself. I kind of did myself, so I kind of just, yeah, I kinda, it was pretty easy to get through it, so yeah. Jake's father, Louis, was known as one of the toughest players in the NHL during his time. And of course, that has led to a little bit of talk towards Jake on the ice during his young career. I've gotten some uh, some talks for sure about that, asking me to go and stuff like that. But it's kind of funny how I'm not really a player that he was. But um, yeah, I've for sure gotten some of those uh, questions. When DeBrusque was drafted by the Broncos, they picked him in the seventh round in part due to the fact that he was only 130 pounds at the time, but he still believed that he could make it to the Western Hockey League. Even though I was pretty small, I never thought I, I, never thought I played small. So, you know, I knew eventually I might grow because people <laughs> were telling me that all along since my dad's pretty big. So I knew I was going to grow, but I was just worrying about my game. And I always thought I had a belief in me that I could make it and do it. That late bloomer status and playing when he was much smaller than the opposition at the time allowed Jake to develop a little extra toughness from going through those rigors. When you have such a size disadvantage, you have to find different ways to win battles in the corners. And now since I'm starting to grow and now I'm starting to get to the size, I find that it's still hard, but it's easier to win those battles and I'm more equipped to win those battles. For Broncos coach and general manager Mark Lamb, they always had faith that the Brusque could develop and that size would come eventually. Knowing his background, I, I played with his dad and, and knew his dad. So when we, we had drafted him, I had talked to his dad about his growth potential and his uh, maturity and, and we knew that uh, Jake had a lot of room to grow but um, that being said that we really, you know, at, even at that size we really liked the way he played. As a rookie last season, DeBrusque went through the transition to the Western Hockey League which can be a tough one with 72 games and an intense focus on hockey throughout the whole season. We're on the ice every single day, practice or game, obviously, and the games are intense. The WHL is, has really good players in it, so, and really big players, really fast players. So you got to prepare yourself. It's pretty, it's pretty uh, mind-boggling at the start. You know, it's uh, it's hard, but it's just you just got to really work hard and just keep at it and just keep going. As a rookie, those points didn't come right away for DeBrusque, who only had 11 points in his first 31 games but finished with 10 in his last eight and was a go-to player for the Broncos come playoff time. He's given him the right ice time and I think that he just progressed and you know at the end of the year he was playing on a good line. He was a big part of our team and uh, in, in playoffs he was one of our best players. The playoffs were a real coming out party for DeBrusque who scored three times including two game winners for the Broncos on home ice against the Medicine Hat Tigers. It was an awesome experience. Like my confidence was high going into the series and then stuff like that was happening and it was just a great experience overall and I want to keep doing it and the clutch situations are nice to have that I know I can do it at this league especially. The Swift Current Broncos saw Jake DeBrusque mature before their eyes all throughout his rookie season. Well now he won't be surprising anybody. He'll be circled on the board night in and night out by the opposition. He's going to face their toughest players all with the eyes of the NHL scouts on him throughout the season. But he's a guy who has a lot of maturity and with NHL bloodlines perhaps will be able to deal with that kind of pressure as the Broncos enter the regular season. For Sega's Inside Edge on the Swift Current Broncos, I'm Sean Mullen.